Marilyn, when we think about Nebraska FFA, we think of rural schools. So maybe a surprise to learn some Omaha schools are also adding agriculture to the curriculum. You know, this is really a fresh new take on this, really. A lot of things that we don't think about, we want people in those areas to know about what happens on the farm. Well, and there are career opportunities all across the state, even in places like Omaha, with kids who have an agricultural background. Here's more. From Amherst and Osceola FFA chapter. A familiar program in rural schools across Nebraska reaches an all-time high. From Gothenburg. And I'm from the Newman Grove FFA chapter. 157 schools are bringing agriculture into the classroom. And any time that we can help develop a pipeline for students to get exposure and career preparation for that industry is huge. Many of the new programs this school year are in Class B and C schools like Adams Central, Silver Lake, and Litchfield, but it's an Omaha school that may soon have the largest chapter in an organization once known as Future Farmers of America. Two years ago, we added a program at Omaha Bryan High School, and we're exposing students from a very, very urban population to agriculture, and they could not be more excited. Now officially just FFA, Omaha kids say their friends don't quite get it. They honestly think it's like weird because we're like pretty much the city, city kids, and for us to want to go do agriculture, it's kind of different for them. FFA has traditionally focused on the farm and ranch. We don't have that in the city, but we have a lot of other like uh, agriculture related things. There's a big focus these days on science and natural resources. Plus, each student takes on a supervised egg experience. It's a good experience and it opens it all the doors for us. It looks good on a college application too. It's more than starting an FFA chapter. Schools have to integrate it into the curriculum, and that requires a teacher. So state leaders are thrilled to see it expand, whether in Omaha or around Hastings. Well, that's all we have for you here. Thank you so much for watching us here on NTV's Grow. We're glad you stayed up late with us every Sunday night for the show. Have a good one.